Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a reading using the Animal Oracle, Animal Spirit Oracle. So let's tap into those vibes. Let's see what the animals have to say. They are such deep connections we have with ourselves, with the universe, with nature. The animals that we see on the day to day while we're going around, they usually bring messages for us and not all of us pay attention to them. So let's see if there are any messages here that have been sent your way that maybe you had missed and they're coming back here to you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the wolf spirit. That is a confirmation for some of you. I know it. 67, turn knowledge into wisdom. So we're going to be a reading fully doing a reading fully dedicated to this deck. And I'm probably going to complement it with some affirmation oracle or something um, by the end. I hope that you enjoy this video, get comfy, get yourself something to drink, and if you would like to support the channel for free, you can always subscribe and like this video, it really does help me a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Alright. Messages, ideal, accurate, important, relevant messages that Pisces needs to hear right now. to light a candle actually, which I rarely ever feel called to light a candle before, like during a reading, I usually do it before. And I'm getting the image of a yellow candle here, so that could be relevant for some of you. That's our intention here. Okay, so first advice that we have here is from the parent spirit. Watch your words, card number 45. Some of you are affirming a lot of negative things through your sense of humor, through your sarcasm, through your self-deprecating humor. It could be affecting you more than you know. If some of you are seeing parrots or parrots, oh my god, that, Jesus Christ. If you're seeing parrots um, or they have any relevance for you in your day-to-day, -day, that is a confirmation for you. So this is a confirmation for me. Let me spill the tea. So we have these neighbors. <laughs> They're right across from us. If they happen to be listening to this video because everything is possible, then, you know, you guys, you need to be more silent for God's sakes. Um, if I have an opportunity to talk to them in person, I will. So, these neighbors are the ones with the screaming child. I don't know if you've been in other videos, you know, the super scary screaming child that at first I was like obsessed with. I thought that I thought there was something like really scary happening to that child when I first moved here. Because all I hear would be screaming and screaming and screaming. And I was like, this is a horror movie, like what the fuck? And... So, you know, I did all of the calling and the asking and the wellness check shit and all of the things. Turns out things are fine. Supposedly, they're fine. Not much else I can do besides set intentions. Um, but they, the, the girls are not screaming anymore, which I think is good. And I can record my videos. I can be, you know, not freaking out every day. So that's good. Now they got two parrots that talk, that are loud as hell. So if the girl screams once, the two parents replicate that shit. <laughs> uh, who in their right mind? And they fight each other super loudly. Like I can hear it all the way up to my apartment. This is in another tower, like another building across from us. Now they have a two parrots. It's just insane. 
Like, I don't even know how I feel about this. I don't know why I'm venting with you guys, but it's just too much. My terrace, my like outdoor space, my balcony, I've set as a yoga shala. I'm supposed to meditate out there. <laughs> I'm supposed to do yoga out there. And it sounds like I got two like psychotic clowns screaming every day. It's just like, what the fuck? I guess I needed some emotional support from you guys today. <laughs> That has been sort of piling up inside of me. Um, I just, I'm bothered by it. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Have you ever had like annoying neighbors? How is one supposed to deal with this? Like, I've never had this experience before, thank God. So please let me know if you have any advice for me. But coming back to the reading after that long, long getting sidetracked. The number is 45, so we got the number 9. So getting close to that completion, right, Pisces? And they're saying here, watch your words. So a message to those of you who have something to do with parrots, and definitely me, we need to watch our words. Be more careful precisely with that sense of humor, but also be more careful about the fears that you express, the insecurities that you express, the words, specific words that have a very intense frequency. For example, you can tell the difference between love and hate. You can you can feel the energetic punch of the world of the word hate, right? So that kind of thing, you know, it would be good for us all to avoid, to cleanse, to purge. And it it's okay if you don't do it on your own. Maybe get yourself like a watch your words buddy, <laughs> a friend, a family member, a partner, someone that can hold you accountable to this. Someone that you can be in the same journey of, you know, clearing these negative frequencies in your words. We have time to collaborate. Card number one. For the near future, we've got the chameleon spirit. Act as if. Fake it till you make it, Pisces. You know? When you start doing something, it's very rare that you feel confident doing it. You know, being in the beginner mindset is humbling. It requires a sense of... simplicity, of humility, of knowing that you don't have it all figured out. But in order to have it all figured out, at some point you need to make that shift from beginner to kind of like, I don't know, like intermediate or like person who knows what they're doing. And you need to believe that you are capable of doing what you're doing. Because even if you are, we have that like imposter syndrome at the beginning of things, right? We feel like we don't know enough, like we can't do enough, like we can't be... Uh, in the same level as other people who are learning as well, who are doing the thing. So they're telling you here, act as if. You know, dress for the job you want to have, not the job that you have. Act, deliver, perform in the way that the most successful you would. And that is what will almost like trickle into the present. Be in the present, it is beautiful. Card number 34, seven, good luck. But in the future we have number five. So there could be a little bit of instability as you start really becoming that person you know you can be. Some of you are spending way too much time at home some of you with the wombat spirit here, card number 68. Some of you are spending too much time either literally at home or symbolically closed off. Symbolically wrapped up in your own comfort zone, in your own sphere. And you know, with this time to collaborate card, it's like 
if you get out there, if you expose yourself a little, if you allow yourself to fly, you may be surprised with what you find or what finds you. Slow and steady wins the race. Card number 62. 62 sums up to 8. And you guys know, if you if you watch the previous reading, which you have to, you guys, the one that says 8888, uh, shocking reading, that's the title of it, because it's shocking as hell. Um, watch it. Number 8 is very significant here, okay? Slow and steady wins the race, Pisces. There is no need to rush. There is no need to push. There is no need to break yourself in half in order to make something happen. It's okay to just do what you can do, the best you can do, every day, little by little. Some of you set very high expectations for your to-do list every day. It's okay if you don't meet all of your standards every single day. Just do your best. Do your absolute best, but try your best not to beat yourself down if you can get to where you want to go every day. Sweet results await. I love this. So this card is coming up after slow and steady. So rest assured that by going slow and steady, you are getting to those results. Imagine the bees, right? Imagine how they build their whatever that's called, beehive. And imagine all the work that they put in. I don't know how that works. I am not a beekeeper. I am not anyone who knows anything about bees. So part of my ignorance, but I do know that it takes a lot of work for them, organization, symmetry, like I don't, uh, it's, it's mind blowing to see what animals can create, ants, bees, right? And what I'm getting is a reference here that, you know, honey doesn't spoil, it is made by bees, from bees, and what that is leading me here to, to think, what it's telling me is that if you go slow and steady, you're building something that is both sweet and timeless. Something that will not burn out quickly. Something that will not expire quickly, you know? And it is summed up here with the seven. So that's good luck. If you just go slow and steady, Pisces, the results are going to be sweet. Very sweet. So you know, maybe at the beginning you have to kind of fake it till you make it a little, you know? Maybe you need to go into work or go into that project or go into that role that you're aiming for feeling very nervous. You know, maybe that's gonna be there for a while and you need to do it regardless. But that rebirth here is assured. Card number 63 sums up to 9. Nothing is wasted. Vulture spirit. I know that the vulture is not particularly graceful and beautiful, right? Not to the normal standards that we have, right? It's not the same to see a colorful, beautiful hummingbird than to see a vulture, you know? It doesn't have the same appeal, I guess. I don't know if that's just me. But the vulture is actually one of my favorite animal spirit guides. Because the vulture takes what is considered toxic, what is considered dead, what is considered useless, pointless, and transforms it into their sustenance. They give purpose to things that were purposeless, supposedly. They make it their primary energy source. So it's kind of like giving life to something that was dead, giving purpose to something that was useful, useless, sorry. Um, so I'm getting here that you can do that too. So this is a good time to re, uh, repurpose spaces, objects, things that are old, repurpose them, find a new place for them, 
give them, you know, a little refresh. But also the lessons you've learned in the past. Also the experiences that you have to live. Make sure that you give them purpose. You give them a good reason for them to have happened at all. And only you can do that. It's not the same thing to look back and remember something difficult. It's not the same thing as saying, well, that happened because I needed to learn this. Or the other option is, I don't know why the hell that happened. I hate it. It's just a bad memory. Let's put it in the past. It's not the same thing. So when you repurpose something, an experience, into the lesson, it almost like liberates the weight of it. And we got the fox spirit. Think on your feet. Card number 27. Think on your feet. I'm getting something about like spicy food, spicy peppers, spicy, you know, spicy sauce on food and things like that. Um, cayenne pepper could be relevant for some of you. It's kind of like that zing. Some of you feel kind of stagnant, gray, sleepy. And this could ignite your inner fire. So maybe do some research. Maybe, you know, talk to your physician if you have one. What spices, what herbs can make you feel more awake? More quick? So you can think on your feet. You know what I mean? That's, I don't know why that's, that's getting here. Uh, turmeric? I am in no way someone who knows about herbs and stuff. So, like, this is just intuitive. Don't listen to me with health advice. I am just a random person on the internet who does not know anything about that, okay? And this card also signifies the number nine. So you're very close to a completion of a chapter. But it's okay to go slow and steady. You don't have to rush through the finish line. You know, if you've been running a marathon, you don't need to push at the last minute. If you've gotten to the last minute, you're gonna get through the finish line. Does it matter if you do it a second before, a second later? I mean, I guess if you're setting records, yes, but for the main population, for us mortals out here, um, it usually doesn't matter. So just, you know, move through the finish line slow and steady, but move through the finish line, Pisces, okay? That's what I'm getting here. Now let's complement this reading with the flower oracle here. So this is about animals and this is about flowers. So this is very nature oriented. I was gonna say, comment below, what's your favorite animal? But honestly, if you're gonna comment below, I would rather have you give me advice about the neighbors. <laughs> For real. Jeez. So funny. <laughs> the comfort of good company heals old hurt. Oh, I like that. The comfort of good company heals old hurt. Keep going, keep growing, be unstoppable, Pisces. The thing is, I feel like you know that you're unstoppable. And that's why you want to push yourself beyond your limits. It's like if you go slow and steady, your limits don't exist. But if you want to do everything at once as fast as possible, you do have limits, Pisces. And I feel like that can be a problem for some of you. But if you pace yourself, though... Cherry Blossom, return quietly now and be at peace. Return quietly to your past and give meaning to the sad experiences. Give meaning to the experiences that birth your fears and insecurities. 
Your uniqueness is always perfectly lovely. Set boundaries well to ensure good growth. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like when you're trying to be better, do better, be that better version of yourself. You're pushing yourself, you're doing things right. Perfection can be kind of like a double-edged sword because if you settle, if you say, oh, you know what, I'm just going to skip on trying today. I'm just going to, you know, just stop myself from doing the things that I've been doing that make me better. That could be the beginning of a very sloppy, well, a very slippery slope that before you know it, your life is not, it's like not recognizable because you said no way too many times and you fell out of the wagon way too many times and you can't see the wagon anymore, <laughs> you know? But it's different to go slow and steady. It's not the same thing. You can go slow and steady and stay in the wagon with enough rest and naps and ease and joy and travel and all the things. But at the same time, pushing yourself hard. Tomorrow brings the illumination of your hopes. Remember who you wanted to be. This one came in the previous reading. I think I named it that. It's so powerful. Remember who you wanted to be. Be ready because the best is on its way, Pisces. The best is on its way. All right, my love. So this is what I got for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. It's free and it really does support us greatly. Um, in the description box below. I'm going to leave all the relevant information by us. I mean me and my team. A uh, very tiny little team. <laughs> that, you know, we work tirelessly to serve you, to serve the Pisces community, to serve with online courses, meditations, workshops, you name it. You know, if I think about it, I'll make it happen eventually and with the intention for you to benefit from it. So check out our website, see if there's anything there for you. I love you, Pisces, so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.